Hello. This short tutorial is to show you how we can install Koya SS for training in RunBot for SDXL or OSD in general. Some bots have templates that include Koya, Dreambooth, Automatic 11, 11 already installed, but they could be slightly expensive or not available sometimes. Most bots, however, have ByteWatch 2 template, which is the template that we will use to manually and quickly install Koya and start training in cloud in a couple of minutes. Now, uh, to run on RunBot, for example, we choose Community Cloud. We, we then we choose uh, a suitable GPU, for example, RTX 3090. Okay. Now, if we want uh, a better GPU, we choose 800, for example, but it's uh, it's more expensive. Uh, we deploy uh, the run bot. Then we use these instructions, which are available on uh, Koya SS uh, web page. Deploy. Now we choose uh, the template of uh, ByTorch 2.0.1. We can customize the deployment, for example. Uh, I want, for example, disk space of 430 gigabytes, for instance. I don't need that, uh, too much space. Uh, okay, PyTorch, that looks good. Set up right. Then we continue. Now we press connect. I will connect to Jupyter Lab, for example. So now we run the terminal by clicking on this location. Then we start entering the commands that are available. In Koya, for example, we just follow these instructions here. Just copy and paste, that's all. Jupyter Lab, control paste. Now we can see the process is very fast because the download speed is good. Now in this models folder, we could also uh, run another terminal, for instance, and use wget in order to obtain the SDXL based model, for instance. So uh, this is the model. We can press download, copy the link, then go back here and paste it in this location. Okay, uh, wget, then download. Now, in the meantime, you can see that it has uh, already installed uh, the Koya SS. We just need, you can start the graphical user interface using this command line to get a shareable link. Now, and this is the shareable link which we can run so that we can. Uh, run the Koi SS graphical user interface as if we are running it locally but using this Gradio live link. So I will create a new folder and call it data. Now in this data I will upload both classification images and the images and create the folder structure that I have uh, done. Uh, usually I do in uh, locally in the same method. So in a similar manner, like we do locally, for example, we do uh, the first the repeats underscore the instance prompt, then the class prompt, then we can drag and drop. So we copied all uh, we copied all the files here, just like uh, drag and drop. We go back to data. We go on to the class. We want to create a class, for example, when repeat woman, for instance. Then we copy the same files in our class folder, for example, here drag and drop like this drag and drop and wait till the upload is complete and now to start training the LoRa using uh, RunBot and Gradio Live we would go to LoRa here uh, training we need to choose custom now regarding the custom uh, we have to put the destination to our file now this won't work because we are we are live workspace for example my model and the file location of the file so we continue selecting the folder structure and starting the training uh, normally now if we want uh, to download this folder we can use download current folder as archive for example and uh, do the testing uh, locally or we can uh, install automatic 11.11 on runboard and test the results there as well uh, that's it and uh, have a good day